My name is Jason Hughes. I am the producer of Hawkinet Adhesive Games, and I'd like to show you a little bit about what we're showing at E3. So here, when you start booting the game, have a little bit of uh, some cool customization for you. This is part of what we're showing off this week. We have multiple mech classes in the game. For this build, we have light, we have medium, really easy to switch between the two, and each have different properties. You'll be able to customize your mech, different paint jobs like that. We also have different painting abilities, such as changing your trim, um, whatever color that you'd like. Now, when it comes to actually customizing your mech even further, you can swap out individual parts. Sure, we give you an entire mech, but you can also switch out perhaps the torso, the upper legs with another one, or maybe the legs from another one. And, uh, let's, switch out the, uh, let's switch out the top with even another mech. So for every single class that we have, you have that, uh, that ability to basically have it exactly the way you like it. So not only that, let's move on to weapons. Everyone loves the weapons. We have primary, primary and secondary weapons. On primary, we have seven in this build and you basically pick the two that you want for this particular loadout. Let's see, let's go with the Vulcan and well, the flat cannon looks pretty good. And then for secondary weapons, these are on the right arm of the mech. They're a little bit slower, but they're much more powerful, pack a bigger punch. Let's see, let's go with, uh, yeah, tow rocket and uh, grenade launcher. That sounds good to me. We also have items available for the player that they can equip. Here we have, for example, uh, grenades, or we have turrets that you can drop into the ground and they'll fire at any enemies within range. Hologram, shield, EMP, sensor. So these are ways that, uh, that users can further customize their experience and support the way that they like to play. Now this is where customization gets really cool. Here's our upgrade system. So as you level up, as you gain additional points, we have uh, points that we give you for optimizations. You can focus on offense, defense, or movement, and all you really do is just, let's see, damage reduction, I want some more of that, special weapon fire, I want some more of that, and as you go, you can unlock additional, uh, additional optimizations, and you can allocate the points any way that you want to. If you decide to focus on offense, defense, or movement, we have a special ability that you can, uh, that you can unlock and actually use in the game. In addition to that, we also have what we're calling internals. They're little bit modifiers or pieces that you can unlock as you go, which can impact, again, your offense, defense, and functional abilities during the game. For example, here, advanced weapons, this increase your weapon damage by 3%. Uh, defense, we have a 50, plus 50 max to your, maximum to your health. And as you can see, we have a variety of internals available to the player, and there will be more to come. So let's go ahead and jump right into a match. We have three maps that we're showing here at E3. Um, these are available for people on the floor to play. And uh, we have three modes as well, deathmatch, team deathmatch, and also siege mode. Let's go ahead and see what matches are up and running this moment. All right. Looks like we have uh, some team deathmatch going on here. I'll go ahead and I'm good with that team. I'm gonna ready myself up. So right before you're ready to jump into the match, or even after you die, here you are back in the mech hangar. This allows you to pick whatever preset, whatever loadout that you've, uh, that you've customized. You can see that you have the primary weapons that you chose before in the garage, and your secondary weapons as well, whichever that you want to go with. So let's go, let's see, light assault. Let's pick that and jump right into game. I'm going to pick the Vulcan and uh, the Hellfire missiles. And here we go. Now one of the big pieces of the game that we're really proud of is the visual look. The art director, uh, I should say the creative director on this game, Kang Lee, one of the co-founders of the studio, he has a very specific idea, very specific look for what Hawkins should be. That helps the team tremendously because we know what it should be and we also know what it shouldn't be. So as you can see, uh, look around the world. This is a standard team deathmatch. So all we really have to do, let's go, uh, let's go find some enemies. Now here, up on the display, we have the amount of health that you have. We also have the items, as you saw those individual pieces down below, that you can scroll through and use at your, at your leisure. Here we have a grenade, for example. Uh, we also have an EMP blast that'll temporarily disable uh, any mech that you hit with. And then we also have a hologram that you can drop. Surprise, drops a decoy out there that looks just like you and moves along with you to hopefully get some enemies out of the way. We have, uh, we have a boosting feature. You can jump in the air, boost a little bit, and then you can also boost forward, do quick dodges to the left, 
to the right, and then you can also do a quick 180 spin so you can get people who are coming up at you from behind. Let's, uh, let's go find some people. All right, there we go. Gotcha! Yeah, that didn't take long. I can blame it on the fact that all these people have been playing for a long time. Except I'm the producer, I should actually probably be pretty good at it, so I don't know what I can blame. I'll blame something. Think of, think of something I can blame. All right, let's go to a medium-sized mech. You can see the layout is just a little bit different. The same information is there, but it is a little bit on the slower side as far as speed is concerned, but it does have additional health. Now everything that I've shown you so far is still obviously a work in progress. We are pre-alpha, but very happy with the response that we've gotten from, uh, from the show so far. Everything is still being tweaked, uh, not only the gameplay, but also the HUD, the information that we're providing to the user, uh, but we're really happy with, uh, with what people have been uh, experiencing here on the floor. Better. One more thing that I do want to show you, if I can actually get to, uh, to a safe spot, we do have a repair ability, so if you're able to find yourself in a quiet little corner, you can actually hold down the C key, there's a little dro uh well that guy's going to take me out, but anyway, there's a little droid that comes out, um, and a uh, little drone and he'll repair you, get you back up to health, but unfortunately as you can see, he can take damage while it's happening, so Hawken. A first-person mech, free-to-play shooter coming out this year. December 12, 12, 12 of this year is our open beta date. I encourage you to go to playhawken.com. You can register for the closed beta so you can play the game a little bit before the others. We're going to have a lot of great mechs. We're going to have a lot of great customization, a lot of great visuals. As you can see, we're really proud of it. I encourage you to take a look. Go to the website, playhawken.com. Experience Hawken for yourself.